let's have a go at tying a monkey's fist. Let's tie this knot. First of all, I want to put a stopper knot on the end of my rope, and I'll do that just by tying an overhand knot. Pulling it tight, and work it as close to the end of the rope as you can. And then, we just want to lay that across our palm with the knot facing down here. We're going to take three and a half wraps around our palm. Three, and then a half. One, two, three, and this is our half wrap. I've just tucked that between my index finger and my middle finger. And if I rotate it to the knuckle side, I want to tuck this down through those loops. And just pull it all the way through. Now I want to start wrapping in the opposite direction. So that's going to come back through my index finger and my middle finger. So it should look like that. And I'm going to gently take this whole bundle off my hand. Carefully not to interfere with the wraps. I'm going to take three more wraps going this way, working from left to right. It's two, it's three. Just count the wraps, one, two, three. Now I want to rotate this bundle 90 degrees so the stopper knot faces you. So there you are. The stopper knot should be on the bottom left now. And I want to take the end of my rope and I want to tuck it up through this bottom loop here. But I don't want it to come out that bottom loop. I want it to come out this top loop here. So it's got to run diagonally through the bundle. Through the bottom one, but out the top there diagonally going through. I just want to pull that all the way through. And now I want to take three wraps around these three strands. Not the whole bundle, just these three strands. And I'm going to work from right to left in this case. So I'm going to dive back down through that loop. And up again, through the top loop here. That'll be our first wrap. And just be careful not to cross strands up when you're working through here because it's going to be very difficult to uncross them later on when you're trying to tighten the whole knot up. So this is our second wrap. So that will make a cross strand. I'm going to take that up to the other side. And this is our final wrap. And come up through the top here. And that is basically our monkey's fist done in its loose form. Now we want to rotate this bundle until the stopper knot is at the top. Just like that. And you'll see there's our original four wraps. One, two, three, four. More than three and a half. And now you'll see where that half wrap disappears because I'm going to push that knot through and tuck it into the centre of the bundle there. So that's where that half wrap disappeared to. And now, I just want to pull, or start pulling this whole thing tight. So just notice where the knot went, and then follow that strand along, and just start pulling it tight. Follow it along, pull, just keep following this whole thing along. Make sure that none of the strands cross as you gently manipulate this knot tight. So after we've done our first three, you notice that it won't exit out this bottom thing because it dives through the knot. And sometimes you can't really locate it very easily. So just give it a gentle tug and you see it's coming out here. So I want to pull it from that side. 
opposite side of the knot. Now we can do the same thing. Tighten up the next three loops. And this, this time we're working from left to right. So tighten these up. Again, this is going to dive through the center of the knot. So just give it a gentle pull and find where it exits, which is over here. And then pull that through, make sure it's nice and neat. And then we can continue along, tightening the last three loops up. Always making sure that none of the strands cross Almost there. Let's tighten this one up. That's the last one. There you are. You should have finished Pumpy's fist.